Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. It is Easter today, so if you're celebrating that, happy holidays. If you're not, it's all good. Although, I will be uploading this tomorrow. So, But anyways, hopefully you had a good Easter. Um, so it's raining outside. I wish I could go outside and film this. However, it is, it is a pretty bad downpour. Uh, I think that's the word for it. So we're just going to be filming inside. I hate doing these. I hate doing so many in a row inside. But uh, it's okay, it's all good. We'll have plenty more outside as summer comes. And today's topic will be, uh, sorry by the way, the fire alarm is very interesting because we had that replaced and because it was chirping all the time and uh, the replacement is doing the exact same thing. So we're getting that fixed hopefully tomorrow. So I do apologize for that. But anyways, uh, so today's topic will be a very interesting one. It may be controversial depending on who you are. Uh, so I believe that, well, I think there's plenty of people who may believe this and there's plenty of others who may just not be aware of this or, you know, choose to ignore if they are aware. So it's very simple. Education does not equal schooling. Uh, so education is gaining knowledge, you know, like through anywhere, through a person, through a book, through online, through experiences, while schooling is going to high school and college and getting your degrees and, you know, reading your books, doing your homework, classwork, all this stuff, right? It's, I guess, an experience of sorts while you try and retain as much knowledge as you can. However, uh, being that we are in America, it's rather funny that we're actually not too good with education, um, with the schooling and with the whole school system, really, because if you see, we're definitely not number one. We're quite far away from being number one in the world, and other countries are passing us quite quickly. So I was lucky enough to be in a pretty good community where all the schools that I went to were pretty highly ranked, and, you know, so I got to experience the normal educational system, right? Uh, well, not the normal one, not the average one, but it, it was what it was supposed to be maybe even higher where teachers really cared about students getting good grades and the school actually cared about their turnover rate. They didn't want dropouts and all of this stuff, right? I, I still have, you know, a little bit left of school. However, nearing the end of my career, uh, I won't pursue college or university or anything after high school because I believe that at the end of high school, you only pursue college or university if you're looking for, you know, the general route, the easy route to a job, which technically it's not even that easy. In my opinion, I believe the easier route is immediately looking for a job while you're still in high school. Um, definitely not, you know, the earlier you get it, the better it'll be for you. Mine's a little bit different because I work online and that may be not conformal to some people. However, uh, I think that the main point of schooling is to be able to get a job. I mean, to get money. Uh, you pay money for college, for university. I'm going to try and make this video a little bit short because, you know, the beeping. But anyways, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to let it uh, take over myself, the little beeping, chirping. We're going to ignore it and everything's going to be all good. So anyways... Um, Hopefully I'm taking off to the point that I was at. Uh, so you pay money to colleges so you can get a degree after four, six, eight years, maybe more. And then you try and find a job. However, it's very funny because some people with PhDs and all these master degrees and all this stuff can't find a job right after college and or university. And it's because they just can't. Like, who cares if you got the degree? You need some experience with it. Like, sure, you got the knowledge per se, but you don't have the actual hands-on stuff, right? So employers look for people who actually have experience with this, who've had this job for quite a bit now, or who've done something in the industry and they know something. So if you have two candidates for a job and one just came from uh, a nice Ivy League school, but the next one uh, has been working in the same industry for four years and they have experience hands-on, the employer is most likely going to choose the guy who has experience because, you know, the more experience, the better, the less complaints there will be compared to the guy who just came out of school. Sure, he, you know, has oh, hopefully everything fresh in his mind. However, he has zero experience, zero work experience. The funny thing is sometimes people who go to college, they absolutely have zero experience whatsoever in the working world. That means like 
even summer teen jobs, whatever, they have zero. Some people just zilch. So, you know, if you're looking at someone's resume like that, if it's only education but nothing externally outside, then that's a problem, right? So how do you attack this? Well, you got to look at it this way. Education does not equal schooling. This means that, you know, after school, you try and get knowledge that you want to be taught in school. Not Not everything... Not everything in the world is taught in school. Like some people complain, hey, I don't know how to do my taxes. I don't know what the real world life is actually like. School did not prepare me for this. I don't need math. I don't need, you know, social studies. I don't need geometry. I don't need these things. Sure, some concepts still stayed in my mind and that's cool and all, but I don't use 99% of what was taught to me. Really, after and after the end of each unit, after the test, it kind of just whoop went away and never returned back to it and all I was really looking at was the rewards which were the grades and everyone was proud of me and the diploma it's kind of like a psychological thing schooling you just want to get the rewards the grades and you want to just keep pass it and level up keep going up until you're at the very top and then great woohoo however at the end of that if you have zero experience with work you know you kind of get screwed life really kicks you in the ass so how to prepare for that well, while you're in high school or even in middle school, or if it's a little late, but you know, you're in college or out of college, what you want to do is look at what industry you want to work in and whether it's online or offline or whatever the job is, you want to look it up. You want to, uh, sorry, <laughs> you want to look it up. I, I said that weirdly. It was just like, I, the willpower just like, well, I'm not going to finish the sentence. But anyways, so you want to look it up and you want to look into it and you want to find a mentor, someone who's already done this job quite a bit. And then you want to go on forums and you want to explore people who've already been doing this for years and you want to learn exactly what they've been doing and you want to learn what's updating because, you know, some these jobs are constantly updating. They constantly new, need something new and innovative, right? And you want to stay with that. And hopefully that combined with whatever education you're getting inside school should prepare you for the real world a little bit better. So go online in your spare time, go on YouTube, go on forums, uh, maybe go offline, go find someone who works in it, find a mentor and you will gain very, very powerful knowledge because knowledge is power. And you know, the more knowledge you have, the more wisdom, the more experience, the better you're going to be prepared for the real world, the better you're going to have chances of getting a very good job and Hopefully that'll set you up for success because, you know, if you, the more knowledge you have, the, the more you're just in control of your life, really. Oh, also I did forget to mention books. How could I forget books? So books, of course, definitely help you a lot. If you can't read books, listen to them. Audiobooks. I mean, when you're driving, don't waste your time just driving in the car and, you know, wasting like 10 minutes in traffic listening to the crappy radio, right? Because the signal's really bad and you don't like the song that's currently playing. Just play it from your iPod, you know, an audiobook and gain some knowledge while you're doing it. Read something that's nonfiction. I mean, fiction's great and all, but also do a lot of nonfiction stuff that actually relates to the job or stuff that relates to something that just interests you, you know, space or mathematics or science, whatever it is. And also take examples from your idols. Hopefully you have an idol or idols, people who have been successful in life and you just want to be like them. Not not you want to be exactly like them because that's kind of pathetic. You know, you don't want to repeat this person. You want to be yourself. You want to be something new and, you know, hopefully take some elements of inspiration from these people, but you don't want to be them exactly. But anyways, hopefully you have people that inspire you and you look at what they did through life and you learn that and then you apply some of these lessons and also life, you know, with experiences. Each experience is a teacher and the teacher, you know, teaches you a lesson and hopefully you apply what the lesson learned, to what, what you learn from the lesson, you apply that to your own life and to whatever problems may arise for you and hopefully you're able to get over these obstacles, you're able to find that good job and you're able to be happy with your life. I wish... I wish that everyone who watched this video has a wonderful day, and that is all I have to say for this. Well, I will, I'm, I'm going to say more in future videos, but uh, that's just it for right now. So I wish you guys all the best. Hopefully you guys all find wonderful jobs. Just remember, education does not equal schooling. Focus on outside external education. Peace. Namaste.